All right. Head you over here. Should turn this thing around so everything's consistent.
Safely deburred. I didn't have to do that, but I just don't like having crappy bar stock laying around. I'm surprised I left it that way, the way it was. Okay, so now we have a piece of bar stock that could be used. Again, we got this piece roughed in if we need it. If not, cut it down and use it for something else. Okay, so that's our sleeve here that we got left over. So now we're gonna have to cut the, the rest of it out. Okay, chips everywhere around here. Lots of chips on the floor. In my feet, on my feet, under my feet. There's chips on my feet, under my feet, and in my feet. That's okay, we like that. Nothing wrong with having cheap chips stuck at the bottom of your feet. Doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so now we have this piece here. A couple of big cheaps of chips under my foot right now. Okay, I need some measuring devices over here. Yeah, this stuff right here. Okay. Yeah, let's see how that's going to sit. Hey, that didn't go in. That's a good sign. If that went in there, that'd be a problem. Okay, so the plan is to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do it tonight. It's getting late. <coughs> Took a lot longer to cut this out because it's hard metal. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take this. OD here, which is 20150, but I'll measure with a mic. Now we're at 2100 or 0500, yeah, depending on where you measure it. So when you measure with a mic, you'll get another number. Because calipers are not accurate to tenths, only accurate to half a thou. Well, actually, they only act to a thou. They they read within half a thou. They only act to a thou. Okay, this one here, I'm not really measuring it correctly, but I'm just kind of roughing it in. So we're at 53 right now, it looks like. Going by that. That's a big difference in size, huh? That's why you use the same materials you measure with. You have a standard you work to, and then you have another one that you worked out to, and you transfer them back and forth. You don't go by the number on this one, you go with this number on this one. So the accuracy is always the same. Plus, the material has to be the same temperature. This right now is warm, this is cold. That means it's going to be a difference in temperature. That would be a difference in size by a thou or two, depending on how hot things are. This isn't very hot, but I bet you it still changes by half to three quarter of a thou pretty easily. <clears throat> So basically what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to take this and we're going to turn this thing down. I mean, I'm going to turn it down. This side's done. We're going to bore this hole out for this to just push in. Then we'll take the uh, a boring bar and we'll bore this ODE, this ID out for this to be a, a press fit on that. This is going to run a couple thou press here, minimum into this. And then after that's all set up, then we'll come in and press this into that with another couple thou. And that'll press everything together real nice and tight, and things should be in there good. So a thou and a half to two is what I want to shoot for on that. We'll see what happens. So I got to cut this off with a hacksaw or a bandsaw. I got the bandsaw. I 
rebuilt over there to do stuff like this with. So I got a hundred thou material to work with because we went down 700 down. Looks like we didn't quite get 700 down though. Looks like we only got 650 down. That's not good. Yep, 700. Good. The hexaw blade is 60. And as long as I cut next to this edge here with the bandsaw, it should cut pretty evenly. So we'll have to give that a try. And it looks like the inside is not quite as deep as the OD. Yeah, we're 700 there and we're 800 there, so we'll get to pull back a little bit. So, yeah, we'll mark it so I know how much to go. But there should be enough material to be done when I'm safe. We done. We need 600 when we're done. So I might just use the hacksaw. I don't know. It's not that big of a cut with a hacksaw. I probably hacksaw it. Using a bandsaw on a round piece of material is kind of hard because it just wants to rotate and spin on you and jam, you know, jam in. And plus you're trying to hold this without cutting your finger with the blade, which is right next to you. You can only use one hand, basically, so it's not very accurate. So I'll probably use my hacksaw to do it. It takes a little longer, but it's accurate. All right, so that'll be for tomorrow. We'll do that off. i got to clean this floor up. It is full of chips over here. And my feet have chips embedded in them right now. See? Chips. So that's how you get chips on the floor. There's chips on the top of my feet too. See here, burning, burned into the skin. Oh well, that's how we do it around here. There's no reason not to have some chips in your feet when you work in a machine shop. Everybody makes, it makes a big deal about it, but it's no big deal. So anyway, I'll just scrape these out with uh, something laying around like a, you know, like a file. Yeah, that's all you do. Knock them out. Yeah, like that. Get most of them off. Yeah, there's still a couple more in there. I can feel more in there. Uh, it takes two hands to really do a good job of this. But anyway, you knock this shit off like this. And we'll, we'll be good to go. Oh well, no big deal. Chips never hurt anybody. So how's the hurricane going out here? It's 10 o'clock. Looks like the water's done. Get some wind blowing. Not too bad. Did it wait under the truck yet? Oh, not quite all the way. That was the flood going out here. Looks like the bags were. The door didn't even get wet on the side. Good. That means there's no water leaking there. I'm washing the dirt off my feet right now. <laughs> oh yeah, it hasn't rained for a while. There's no water out here. Ain't no water going down the street. Oh, oh, there's some water right there. There you go. I found some water. There's flood. Oh, it's a good scraping thing for my feet. Hmm. Try to clean the chips off. Look at that. Oh, that's like, oh, they're brand new. Look at that. Oh, they're like brand new down there now. Good. Jeez. Yeah, I can go another day without taking a shower. There you go. Looking good. <laughs> all right well there's our hurricane it's obviously blowing through got a little bit of a little bit of wind left behind it not much this is not the uh, gale forest winds like they said that we're going to have a storm warning that's 39 mile an hour that is like uh, what's that that's about 12 mile an hour gusts right there probably there it's blowing harder up there those are blowing pretty good up there yeah that's a good 20 mile an hour wind up there at least. Ooh, there's more. Yeah, that's 30 up there. That's 25, 30 blowing on those big ass ones. Yeah. yeah that doesn't focus very good when you get dark. There you go. All right, well, there you go. Storm update. All right, we're done for the night. <laughs>